Let's continue with periods of trigonometric functions. So period means a series of events. For example, days of, days of one week, right? So its period is seven. Every week it repeats, they, those days repeat themselves. So also trigonometric functions, they are also cyclical, which means they have their own periods. So let's look at here our sine x uh, function. When, we, uh, when x is equal to 0, our sine value is equal to 0, right? Actually, let me draw our unit circle here. It's better um, to understand. So here we have our 0 degree. It's here. Here we have our p over 2. Here we have our p, right? And here we have our 3p over 2. And to P also here, which is equal to 360 degrees. So this is our sine uh, axis, right? This is our sine axis. So when it's uh, when our angle is equal to zero, our sine value is equal to zero, right? So we uh, wrote it down here. So when our uh, degree, uh, when our uh, x is equal to P over two, our sine uh, sine x is equal to 1, right? We look at here, so it's equal to 1. So when x is equal to p, which means it's here, and our sine value is equal to 0, because there is no value on this line, uh, when it's equal to p. And when it's, it, when it's equal to 3p over 2, it is, uh, when it's 3p over 2, uh, our uh, sine value is equal to minus 1, right? Because it's here on the minus, nine, minus 1. So this value is minus 1. And when we look at our, uh, when, when it is equal to 2p, our uh, sine value again, as we did uh, for 0 degrees, it's equal to 0, right? Why? Because here uh, there, is, uh, there is no uh, value on this line on sine x uh, sine axis so when we look at our 5p over 2 so this 5p over 2 actually it's here why because when you add 2p here okay when you add 2p it's actually 2 times 2p it's 4p plus p it's 5p over 2 right so actually this value is equal to this one p over 2 so what is our sine value on uh, p over 2 it's equal to 1 right so we write down here 1 and for 3p it is actually here right because when you add 2p to p it's equal to 3p so it's actually here and on, on this line our sine value is equal to 0 and for 7p over 2 um, actually this one is also here why when you add 2p here it's 2 times 2p it's 4p plus 3p which is equal to 7p over 2 so the value of our sign here is equal to minus 1 and here we have 4p and 4p is actually uh, this one is also here why because when you add 2p to 2p it is equal to 4p right so in, on this line our sine value is equal to 0 so as you can see when we look the movement of sine x it goes as like 0 1 0 minus 1 and after that again 0 1 0 minus 1 0 1 0 minus 1 it goes like that every 2p it will always repeat itself every 2p okay like here 2p and after that another for another for uh, another 2p 2p uh, it repeats itself so we can say that the period of sine x and also we can say that for the uh, this for cos uh, cosine x is 2p okay so uh, these are the specific formulas um, for uh, for this uh, topic it is sine cos times 2p uh, plus x is equal to sine x cosine uh, k times 2p plus x is equal to cosine x and for tangent and cotangent the period of tangent and cotangent is p it's not 
um, 2p okay it's p for tangent and cotangent that's why here they have p not 2p so here we have tangent, uh, tangent k times p plus x is equal to tangent x and cotangent k times p plus x is equal to cotangent x Now let's continue with this rule. Here we have fx is equal to a plus b times sine to the power of m uh, in parenthesis c times x plus d and here also we have gx is equal to a plus b times uh, cosine to the power of m uh, and in parenthesis is c times x plus d. So how we find uh, the, well, uh, the uh, period of these functions? When this m is an odd number okay our period is equal to 2p over uh, absolute value of c okay so when if um, uh, when m is an even number our period is equal to p over absolute value of c so you should be careful with the degree of functions here which is m okay and the coefficient of x here uh, which is equal to c these are important okay the other uh, the rest is not that much important so for tangent and cotangent functions the exponent actually doesn't uh, important you will always use this formula for tangent and cotangent okay and cotangent so let's look at uh, these examples here we have fx is equal to sine for x so how we find the period of this so here uh, the exponent of sine is actually it's one right there is no exponent but it, it means that it's it's equal to one since it's an odd number we use this formula so our period is equal to 2p over absolute value of c which is equal to 4 right so we can simplify this which is equal to p over 2. What does this mean? This means that the period of sine for x is p over 2. It means it repeats itself in every 90 degrees. Okay, because this is also equal to 90 degrees. So it means that it repeats itself in every 90 degrees. When we look at this example, here we have gx is equal to um, cosine to the power of 2 in parentheses uh, 6x plus 1 so how do we find this here we have 2 as our exponent uh, so in this case uh, our exponent is an even number so we will use the form uh, we will use this formula right so our period is equal to p over absolute value of c which is equal to here it's p over our c is 6 so um, and for this uh, for this uh, function our period is p over 6 this is also equal to 30 degrees let's continue with the graphs uh, of trigonometric functions first we have graph of the cosine function so to draw this graph first you need to find these values okay so uh, we say, we said that cosine repeats itself in every 2p right let's first find these values uh, let me draw our unit circle our small unit cir uh, circle here so when this is our cosine line right so when our x is equal to zero which means when our uh, angle is equal to zero degrees here uh, our cosine x value is equal to one right so here our value is equal to one when it is equal to p over two so here uh, our cosine value is equal to zero right there is no uh, value uh, on x-axis so it's equal to zero and it's, when it's equal to p here our cosine value is equal to minus one so this is also equal to minus one and when it's equal to 3p over 2 also here there is no cosine value which is equal to 0 and when it's again uh, it's when it's uh, equal to 2p um, here our cosine value is equal to 1 right so we said that every 2p 
every 2p uh, our cosine uh, function repeats itself so as you can see here on this graph this is the graph of cosine function okay so here as you can see on p uh, over 2 it is on the on zero when it is zero it is it's equal to 1 and when it's equal to p it's equal to minus 1 and when it's uh, equal to 3p over 2 it's equal to 0 and it goes like this when it's uh, 2p it is equal to 1 right so this line this curve uh, as you can see it repeats every time itself so as you can see it uh, also here we have the same curve and it goes like this with the same curve Let's continue with the graph of the sine function. It's the same thing uh, we will do. First, we need to find the values, uh, value of these, and then we will put uh, them on this graph. Actually, it's already put, it's already put, but uh, we will explain how it, it actually works. So when x is equal to zero, so let me again draw my small unit circle here. So this is our sine uh, axis, right? So when x is equal to 0, which means when x is equal to 0 degree, our sine value is equal to 0, right? Because there is, mm, there is no sine value here, it's equal to 0, it's here. So when uh, it's equal to p over 2, our sine value is equal to 1, right? So this is equal to 1, and when it's, e it's equal to p, our value is uh, our sine value is equal to zero and when it's equal to 3p over 2 here our sine value is equal to minus 1 and when it is equal to 2p again it's here so our sine value is also here is equal to zero so we, we already said that uh, sine function it repeats itself in every 2p right so when we draw our sine uh, when we draw uh, the graph of the sine function as you can see here when uh, it's zero degrees it's equal to zero when it's uh, p over two it's equal to one so when it's uh, equal to zero it's when it's equal to p uh, when the x is equal to p our sine value is equal to zero and when uh, our x is equal to three p over two our sine value is equal to minus 1 and when it is equal to 2p our sine value is equal to 0 so as you can see from 0 to p over 2 it's actually it goes up right zero from 0 to 1 so here from 0 to 1 and then again it goes down from 1 to 0 and again it goes down and then it it's again goes down from 0 to minus 1 and then it goes up from minus 1 to 0, right? So this curve repeats itself in every 2p on the graph of the sine function. Let's continue with the graph of the tangent function. So here we have uh, uh, the values p uh, for x minus p over 2, minus p over 4, 0, p over 4 and p over 2. So um, as you as you know, um, a tangent when we put this one um, instead of x, it's actually tangent 45 degrees, right? So tangent 45 degrees, it's equal to one. Since this is minus, this will be minus one. And for uh, positive p over four, it's equal to positive one. And as you know, tangent zero is equal to zero, right? But for uh, minus p over two and for p over 2, uh, uh, when we draw our unit circle, how do we uh, draw a tangent line? It's actually here, right? It's parallel to y-axis. So this, this is actually equal to 90 degrees, right? So uh, when it is 90 degrees, this line and this line they are parallel to each other that's why it doesn't have the it doesn't have any value okay so these degrees these radians uh, they don't have any value on tangent so we can just put this mark here so when we draw the graph of this tangent function let's see so here we have minus um, p over 2 okay there is no 
there is no actually uh, value here. For minus p over 4, it's equal to minus 1. For 0, it's equal to 0. For p over 4, it's equal to 1. And for p over 2, there is no value. So this line, this line doesn't touch it here, okay? They don't touch to each other. It gets closer, but never touches. It goes like this till, till infinity. So this is one period of this tangent function, and it goes like this. It repeats itself. Now let's continue with the graph of the cotangent function. So here we look at these values, okay? So uh, when our uh, uh, degree is or our radian is equal to p over 4, our cotangent value is equal to 1, okay? So when it's equal to p over 2, it's equal to 0. When it's 3p over 4, it's equal to minus 1, okay? But when uh, our x value is equal to 0 or is equal to p, so as you remember, when we draw our um, unit circle here, uh, how do we, uh, how do we uh, draw the line of cotangent? It is here, right? It's parallel to x uh, axis. So since on on the x axis we have zero degree, we have our p, uh, and we have also our two p, right? So on this line, our cotangent uh, uh, cotangent x. It uh, doesn't have any value, which means it's undefined, okay? So on these points, cotangent x, uh, undefined. So when we draw, uh, how do we draw the graph of the cotangent function? So we put these values here. So when it is equal to p over 4, it is uh, our cotangent, uh, uh, cotangent x is equal to 1. When it's p over 2, our cotangent value is equal to 0. And when it's 3p over 4, our cotangent value is equal to minus 1. But here, as you can see on this p uh, line, uh, they don't touch to each other, okay? They just they are they get very close to each other, but they they they, they, never, they never touch each other, as we did actually uh, for the tangent also tangent function, but it was in another case. But the main, uh, the logic behind uh, both of them are the same. Okay, let's continue with this example. Here we here we have from zero to two p to real numbers. F x is equal to two times cos x minus one and. Uh, we need to draw the graph of this function. Okay, so we know uh, we know the, the values for cosine x, right? And it's also written here. Uh, it's between two, zero and two p. It repeats itself in every two p. Now we have to find the values for this function. So let's first uh, write the values for cos x, cosine x. Okay, uh, how was it? It was like this, right? X and cosine x okay so when x is 0 it's uh, our cosine x is equal to 1 when x is equal to p over 2 our cosine x is equal to 0 when x is equal to p our cosine x is equal to minus 1 when uh, x is equal to 3p over 2 our cosine x is equal to 0 and when our 2p uh, when it's equal to 2p our x our cosine uh, uh, value is e equal to 1 right so how do we find this we draw our unit circle as we did before and we just find the values so when i want to find uh, these values for this function okay let me draw this line and so I need to find this, right? So it's 2 times cosine x minus 1. All you need to do, instead of uh, cosine x, you find these values and you write, that, uh, you write them down here, okay? So let's do that. So for uh, x is equal to 0, we, uh, we write 1 instead of cosine x. So it's 2 times 1 minus 1, which is equal to 1. So when it's p over 2, it's 0, right, for cos, cos x. So we put 0 instead of cosine x here. So it's 2 times 0, which is equal to 0. Minus 1 is equal to minus 1. 
So when we put minus 1 instead of cosine x here, it's uh, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, minus 1, which is equal to minus 3. And here we have um, 0. When we put 0 instead of cosine x, it's 2 times 0. It's equal to 0 minus 1, which is equal to minus 1. And here it's 2 times 1. It's 2 minus 1. It's equal to 1. So now let's uh, draw the graph of this function. So let me draw this like this. Uh, it may not be very perfect, but uh, I will do my best. So here, um, when x is equal to 0, our function value is equal to 1. Okay, so when x is equal to 0, our value is equal to 1. Okay, let's say 1 is somewhere here. Let's continue. When it's equal to p over 2, okay, so let's say p over 2, it's here. So when it's equal to p over 2, our value is equal to minus 1, right? So let's say minus 1 is here. So we draw like this, this point. Okay, and then let's continue. It's when it's equal to p, our value is equal to minus 3. So when it's equal to p, let's say minus 3 is somewhere here. So our value is equal to minus 3, okay? So when it's equal to 3p over 2, our value is minus 1. So when it's equal to 3p over 2, our value is equal to minus 1, okay? And uh, when it's equal to 2p, our value is equal to 1. So when it's 2p, our value is like this, equal to 1. So when we uh, draw these all these together, it will be something like this. Hopefully it will be look good like this and like this yes so it should be something like that but this is uh, this is the one period of our function x here okay so this is one uh, one period and every 2p it repeats like this okay the, this this shape this curve it always go, uh, it always goes like this it repeats itself in every 2p so this is the graph for our example